Hello, yeah. Welcome back. Uh, social engineering at uh, part one. So, commonly the social engineering involves emails or other communications that invokes agencies, fears, or similar emotions in the victims, leading the victims to pro promptly reveal sensitive information, uh, click malicious link, or open malicious email. So, you can see the definitions of social engineering. So the process by which intruders gain access to facilities, network, system, data and even employee by exploiting the generally trusting natures of people. So the, the use of deceptions to manipulations individuals into divulging confidential or personal information that may be used for fraudulent purpose. So this, these are the definitions of social engineering. So you can see the list here, the types of attack, uh, the social engineering uh, attacks. You can see this one by one. We can we can talk about this. So we, uh, the main, the sum of them is very important. The very common, the attack is using the te uh, technique. So the phishing, spurring, you know, so whirling. These all are well known uh, technique they are using. So we we will talk about this. So you can see the life cycles of as uh, social engineering attack. So is first uh, as a hacker, so this he select a victim, is a high profile guy in social media, and then second one is a research victims, and third one is a develop relationship, and fourth one is exploit relationship. So the select victim. So once he uh, the hack as a hacker, so once he select a victim, then he research victim, meaning the research is an information gathering process where the information about the target is retrieved the attacker should know as much as possible about the target before starting the attack so the third one is a developed relationship so the next uh, the d next part is uh, the development of the rapport and trust with the target a target is more likely to divulge request information to an attack if the trust if the trust the attacker According to the books I wrote by Mitnick and Simon 2002, you can find, you can Google it. So there, there's a lot of information that he shared. So rapport and trust development can be done by using inside insider information, misrepresenting and identify, sitting those known to the victim, showing a need for assistance or occupying an authority role. So once the third part is done, the final one is exploit. The next phase is exploit relationship. So when a target appears to trust an attacker, the attacker exploit the trust the uh, trust to elicit information from the target. So this can either take the form of form of a request for information, a request for a specific action from a victim, or alternatively to manipulate the victims into asking the attacker to help. So the, this can, the information you can also find uh, from the book, you know, the Mitnick and Simon's uh, books. So the phase is uh, this phase is where this phase is where the previously established relationship is <coughs> abused to get the initial desired information or actions. So this is a common one. The social engineering attack types are online. How does it? work and offline how does it work so the what techniques are they are using uh, so so these are the main major techniques so the communication spoof spoofing fraud phishing so phishing is a very common so when sending the phishing is sending an email purporting to be form reputable companies in order to induce individuals to reveal personal information so, spare phishing. Spare phishing is sending email ostensibly from a known or trusted sender in order to induce targeted individuals to reveal confidential information. So, the two uh, types of phishing is uh, they're doing the same job, but they di but uh, doing it different way. You can see here so what is phishing attack so how does it work so the attacker you can see the number one the attacker sends an email to the victim and then victim click on the link unknowingly 
and goes to the phishing website it's redirect to the phishing website so then attacker collect the victim's credentials and then attacker use the victim's credentials to access website in the legitimate website you know so this is how the the visual thing you can see that in picture so phishing example you can see the verification of account the number one so from you need to verify the account the from address and two address uh, and the date of uh, email send and then hyperlink so if, if this domain is malicious or legitimate or not legitimate so you have to check this so there is a tool out there so you can also find is a dynamic analyze uh, is automatically dynamic so they have the database uh, if you just copy it and paste it on the uh, those listed uh, website this uh, dynamic analyze it, it picked the uh, previously stored uh, you know the malicious websites as, as a data so it is very useful tool so you can play around with this communication spoofing fraud so veiling so veiling is a phishing attack a phishing attack that is specifically aimed at wealthy and powerful or prominent individuals so veiling is also uh, so I give you a small example so it's in early 2016 the social media app snapshot fell victim to well veiling attacks when a high-ranking employee was em emailed by a cyber criminal impos impersonating the CEO and was fooled into revealing employee payroll information so uh, this this kind of you know uh, this, this is the best examples for building so then then next one is a wishing so wishing is a just making a phone call or leave, leaving voice messaging messages purporting to be from repeat, reputable companies so the wishing attacks uh, I can give you another example for wishings uh it's a, it's, it's a phone call about a free offer to telling uh you telling you that you are you have won a prize but in order to redeem the f uh, freebie you must first pay for shipping and handling so, so other is exa example is a call saying you know you won a prize uh such as uh cruise such as a cruise or disney vacations you know this kind of don't trust this is scam so and then firming traffic re redirecting the firming traffic redirecting to spoof websites variant smishing so the firming is also one of the important important uh, attack so they normally so the real world the real world examples i can say is it was reported by a in 2008 with the first class uh, first case of dive by firming attack on Mexican bank in this case hackers change change the DNS settings on a customer's unsecure home-based broadband routers via an email that appear to appear to be from uh, from a legitimate Spanish language greetings card company <laughs> so the malicious code in the email changed the user router to redirect their web uh, browser the web browser to the attacker fake fraudulent bank site so this is how uh, is the best example for firming. So third one is a communication spoofing. The uh, as 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 I as we just discussed earlier. So, so as I explained here earlier. So the wishing attack the fraudulent practice of making phone calls or leaving voice message purporting to be uh, from reputable companies in order to induce individual. So hawks. Hoax is a uh, is a malicious actor issuing a false uh, warning to alarm users. So hoax is also one of the important attack. Uh, so normally, uh, you know, the hoax is like a falsehood deliberately fabricated to masquerade as the truth. So. The next one is a swatting. So fraudulent calls to the police. So the next one is a watering hole attacks. 
a security exploit in which the attacker seeks to the compromise a specific group of end user by infected website infecting website that member of the group are known to visit so next one is a physical social engineering attack physical tailgating gaining entry to electronically locked system is followed in in the tailgating is a is a very common one it's like a, a how do you say it? if someone follow you you have to be extra care so the tailgate tailgater attacks or piggy bank piggy banking attack is one of the most common security problem problems in every organizations around the world today so this attack can cause a huge amount of damage to an organization through the data breach data manipulations or theft malware attack by deployment malicious software etc so next one is a dumpster driving the practice of forging in garbage that has been put out on the street in the dumpsters garbaging garbage cans garbage cans etc for discarded items that may still be valuable useful or used to commit fraud yes this is very important shoulder surfings watching someone's over the shoulders when they enter sensitive data such as a password or credit card information so you can see in the pictures is someone is uh, seeing your information so you have to be extra good so when someone behind you so you just uh, just hide and do doing what if, if you're doing any sen sensitive uh, if you uh, work you know the sensitive information is very important for organizations or individual everything so next one is a social engineering principle is a there's a list you can see there uh, authority intimidations concerns scarcities familiarities trust urgency respiratory reciprocity the list the lo those listed is uh, so is a more effective uh, principle of the social engineering so social engineering preventions how can we do that user educations meaning since you must educate to all your employees so how to pro protect how uh, to prevent from the scammer so no matter if you're using the legitimate uh, uh, you know so the the your, your antivirus is up to date so everything so you, you must be extra care you should be extra care on that you should educate them so so you, you need to go through the from address and to address and then everything it's just a give example so then second one is a trust and but verify yeah you you should trust someone but you need to verify so where it's come from can we trust or not so okay so the next question okay the question so okay, let's go for our questions a user contact you suspecting that his computer is infected yesterday he opened an email that looked like it was from me uh, it was from your call uh, it was from your colleagues uh, when he later talked to that part uh, that talked to that person she said she never sent an email what type of attack is that most likely that causes of or the infection can you guess answer is spare fishing okay next question you observe a delivery persons entering your building by following an employee through a locked door into a secure facility which term best describe this type of attack answer answer is tailgate okay guys so we'll see you next video so please subscribe my channels uh, please press the bell button to get more updates. Bye-bye.